correspondent Angus Walker is in the Philippines in the hard-hit area of Tacloban with more. Angus, good morning. Lester, the number of people feared dead now 10,000, and that means that the death toll has gone up 10 times in less than 24 hours. Rescue teams are now starting to see the true horror of Super Typhoon Haiyan. The devastation is, uh, it's, it's I, I don't have the words for it. The loss of life is staggering. We have an estimate given on the casualties, more or less 10,000. That's in the hardest hit province. And as the numbers of dead continue to climb, 48 hours later, officials still can't be sure of the severity of the damage. It's a great a human tragedy. There's no power, there's no light. But what is becoming clear is that the worst of it is in the central islands of the Philippines. The eye of the giant typhoon slams straight into Tacloban, a city of more than 200,000 people. Survivors mourn the loss of life as they begin the grim but essential task of clearing the dead. Many have nowhere to go. The winds and the storm surge wiped away almost every home in the city. Tacloban's airport is strewn with wreckage, making it that much harder for the military and Red Cross to get aid to the suffering. Across the South China Sea, Vietnam is heeding the warnings. Even the tourists are hoping for the best and preparing for the worst. I'm quite frightened because we don't have anything like this. Uh, we've spoken to a few locals and they thought we'll be all right as long as we uh, stay indoors. This is now an international aid effort and the U.S. military is standing by and will soon be involved at this airbase, which is now a rescue center. Thousands of people are gathering here hoping to get airlifted out of this province, which has been cut off for three days.